The December 26, 2004 magnitude 9.1 Boxing Day earthquake was one of the most powerful earthquakes ever recorded. The earthquake ruptured part of the megathrust fault system off the coast of Sumatra. The area of the fault that broke during the earthquake plus the area of aftershocks covered a region about the size of California. Earthquakes generate seismic waves that travel across the surface of the Earth and through the interior of the Earth. Here, the seismic wave viewer from Earthscope shows the waves from the magnitude 9.1 Boxing Day earthquake. You can see how the waves are reflected and refracted by changes inside of the Earth, including changes in the density and temperature of the material that the waves are passing through. This is how we know that the Earth has a mantle inner and outer core. Seismic waves will attenuate or get smaller with distance, so people far away from where the earthquake happened can't feel the waves, but they can still be detected by sensitive seismic instruments like the ones shown here. This animation shows the seismic waves from that earthquake as detected by a subset of seismometers in the U.S. They're marked by dots. When the dots turn red, the ground is moving up, and when the dot turns blue, the ground is moving down. Why are the waves coming from that direction? They're following a great circle path, which is the shortest distance between two points on a globe. Remember, by the time the waves get to the U.S., they are far too small to feel, but not too small to be measured by these sensitive seismic instruments. Part of the way through this animation, you'll see that the motion of the ground gets kind of disordered, and it looks like the waves are coming from the other direction. Well, that's because they are. Those are the waves that are coming around from the other side of the Earth. You can see them here.